if you currently have a mortgage, okay, and if it's backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, okay, and you can look your companies up, Matt, they can look their companies up that they're dealing with to see if, if, if they are associated or how yeah, and, and touch base with your previous, whoever the loan officer was, you can, you can just call up and, and talk to the servicer. All right, great. So new guidelines may allow them to reduce or suspend payments for up to 12 months. That's huge. Now, in addition, they're not going to be charged late fees or reported to credit bureaus. Now, Matt, a lot of people are really nervous about the market taking a, a, a nosedive because they feel with the lack of employment and uh, all these, uh, you know, there's several hundreds of thousands of unemployment claims going on. Um, they feel like we could literally take a nosedive, but I got to tell you, I think that banks and regulators are doing the right thing this time around to avoid that as much as humanly possible. Yeah, no, they're, they're absolutely working with everybody. I mean, this is, this is not the American, uh, the, the American citizens fault because of the coronavirus. And, no. And, and, and the government is force placing non-working like they, in order to save the day, they're telling you not to, not to go to work, not to, to, to function as a normal, normal society. They're telling you to stay at home. As a result of that, you, you can't, you can't, you can't do your day-to-day -day job. Very, the majority of Americans cannot do their day-to-day -day job that earns them their, their paycheck. So therefore, how do you pay your bills if the government's telling you not to, not to work like the way that you're supposed to? So yeah. and in return, they, they are now uh, the Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, which are private companies, are are following the lead of the government, saying, okay. You know, the government's saying we have to cease and desist all operations, stay at home, be safe, be with your family, don't worry about anything, we got you. Now, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are following right behind that, that, in, the, in that line and, uh, and, and allowing this to, to take place so that way, you know, that fear should go away, really. I mean, you know, this is, people, it's a very scary situation. It but, is. This, this should help with the fear. So the way this works, right? They say that you may not have to pay mortgage for 12 different payments, okay? The way that this works is that it's a forbearance period. So that means that the mortgage payments go on the end of your term. So if it's a 30-year term, it's what, 360 months, Matt, right? So if you're, you know, if you're in year two or one or 10 or 15, it's going to go to the end of your mortgage. Yeah, it, it's very important for all listeners to know this is not a forgiveness. We're not forgiving you your mortgage debt. You still owe the debt. It's just we are postponing it from where you have to actually start paying. The vitality of the market is, is not something that, uh, to, to ignore. And, and really, you know, I, I've had almost every, all of my phone conversations with customers in the last 48 hours have been conversations about things that have happened a week ago or two weeks ago. And it's just not a scenario at the moment. It's so and different. It's so different. And that's where it's been changing from minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. You know, you can't be uh, uh, expected at a firm you to uh, take advantage of something that happened two weeks ago. Yeah. Because of how crazy the market is going right now.